Hey there, ADB024 Aaron here. I uh, find myself today at a small protest over the uh, Beltline Highway name change again. The uh, governor actually came down here to uh, University campus in uh, Knight Law Center, which yes, I'm sure is named after Phil Knight of Nike. Uh, but interesting, so Ted Kolongoski is here doing a uh, speech on global warming and so we're here to uh, let them know that we oppose this name change of uh, Beltline. And, you know, it's just funny, this guy, he's talking in there about global warming. We're going to go in there in a second. Here it is, uh, addressing climate change. Uh, just interesting, uh, Ted is the oldest governor in the United States. He'll be uh, 70 in November. And just reminds me of some other old people that I know the media knocked a lot on, uh, like McCain. Um, so this guy's just right up there, same age as McCain, and he's been in politics longer than I've been alive, over uh, almost 30 years. At the same time, as my formula indicates, energy security will strengthen our national security. Our diplomacy will be able to escape the straitjacket of dependence on foreign oil. We'll be able to reduce our overseas military commitments. There will be less tension in competition with our allies as their demand for energy grows. And there will be fewer and fewer days in which Oregon families say a permanent goodbye to our hero in uniform. In addition, first of all, I think all of us know that, uh, at least I think, that, that, that the concerns about climate change and warming temperatures are real. If the forests are put at greater risk because of drier climate, less rainfall, smaller snowpack, we are going to have to manage the forest in a way that we do not have catastrophic forest fires. And that is, you're going to have to do the commercial thing, and you're going to have to get on the forest on the state and brush through so that, in fact, you don't burn down. Well, we're on the back side of the uh, Knight Law Center here, trying to see if uh, Mr. Ted will come out the back door and so we can see our uh, little protest here. You like to sign our petition? Oh no. All right, photo op. <laughs> oh, 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 that's hurting. That's hurting. Okay, I just got oh, to for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> just trying to. Just trying. I didn't even see who's around the corner. There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me try one more time. Right, let me try one more Hey, if you miss this, we leave the belt line the way it is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, it's belt line. Oh, let's our petition. <laughs> Keep the state from renaming our highways after rich cronies. Come on! You want to start a climate change? Listen to the people, not just Do the others. right thing, Ted. Come on! Do the right thing. And he's leaving office. Yeah. See you later, buddy. After 30 years. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that uh, that speech there it was horrible. People were sleeping. <laughs> I wanted to sleep and it's just odd that the speech on global warming is being uh, done at the uh, Knight Law Center and given to the uh, law students. So that just tells you all it's going to be is more government regulation, more laws and their only uh, way of solving this global warming for them is uh, more government. So it's just ridiculous.